Please. Stalking you, you need to press charges. Now, I know you're scared, but that's all the more reason to have him locked up. Yeah, can you guarantee to lock him up before he kills me? I just have to make sure he doesn't find me. Well, I certainly hope that you will think about it. In the meantime, here's a prescription for antibiotics. Are you on any medication right now? No. Hey, I thought you'd be proud of me. Strong, self-sufficient woman. Hear me roar. I just mean the house could have waited till you got your business off the ground. No, I couldn't. The house needed sprucing up. I decided to take in a renter. Oh, my God, what for? I don't like coming home to an empty house. Oh, Mom, you got to get real and get used to being alone. I am used to it. <laughs> I hate it. Is that real enough? Mom. Did you bring me a present? <sighs> me? <laughs> now, Peter and I got this for you on our trip. You want to weigh together? Why not? We've been sleeping together for I don't need the detail. <sighs> Since when can you buy wine? I can't. Peter can. He's 22. You're an older man. Don't remind me. Oh, would you just take this? We got it from this amazing little winery in Napa. That's what he's got you doing, hanging out in winery? Would you just chill out, Mother? We took a tour. I thought you would appreciate the thought. My mistake. I do. Thank you. I'll save it for a special occasion. I hope you're not planning on renting out my room. You don't have a room. You moved out, remember? That's what people do when they go to college, Mom. <laughs> so, you seen your dad lately? We had dinner. Was the silicone queen there? Her name is Jacqueline, Mother. Was she? No. Will you at any point be seeing the two of them? I mean, 
your dad and Jacqueline not to... At some point, Mom, what do you want me to do? Stop seeing my dad altogether? Yes. <laughs> hey, how's that for a real feeling? It's pretty lousy. I really am doing better. <laughs> may not look it, but I am. I am getting on with my life. Yeah. Mom, then why take in a total stranger? For the company. And I need the money. Look, I gotta go. Hey, come on in. I've got angel food cake. I really gotta go. I gotta get back to school. With lemon frosting. Just a piece. <laughs> you scared, Romeo. It's me. I'm not gonna hurt you. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I could finish up here. You should probably go home and get some sleep. Home? I can't go back there. I barely snuck my stuff out of the house this morning while he was at work. Well, you could stay in my apartment. My roommates wouldn't mind. I'm, not, I'm okay. Really. Well, uh, if there's anything I can do, just, just let me know. Thanks. I'll be fine. Wonderful house. I love this room. It's very quiet. Ray used to use it as an office when we were starting out. Ray is my soon-to-be ex. It's great. I think it has the best view in the house. What a beautiful garden. <laughs> is that a tree house? Oh, Ray built that for my daughter Jill the summer she got her braces and was hiding out. I don't mind your having friends over, so long as you don't mind entertaining them back here. I don't do too much entertaining. Practically live in the lab. The lab? I'm getting my PhD in bacteriology. How impressive. <laughs> All right? Yeah. Bacteriology? Well, you won't find any. What? Bacteria. <laughs> what? You can use anything you want in the cabinets. Oh, except for these crystal glasses. These were my mother's. You put everything back where you found it, and we will get along famously. Oh, that's Buskers. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> You're not allergic, are you? No, I love animals. Oh, he's on mouse and rat detail. <laughs> hey, rats are my buddies. Ah, professionally speaking, of course. May I ask why you're moving? It's a long story. Let's just say I'm a very private person. Good, so am I. I'm not, I'm not weird about it or anything. <laughs> Neither am I. Oh, that depends on who you ask. <laughs> Speaking of which, I did bring my references. There we go. The ad says four fifty a month, including water and utilities. Um, I, I have to save on expenses, so I'm trying to keep costs down by not using the central heating. But when winter comes, you can bring in a space heater. Is that okay? Sure. I look great in sweaters. <laughs> <laughs> What's upstairs? Oh, that's my bedroom and my daughter. She's away at college and the attic. The upstairs is out of bounds. I'm sorry. Is that okay? Do I sound severe? <laughs> my daughter Jill says I get severe. It's it, it's just Patty, when I'm it's on... fine, really. 
You ask the right questions and you lay down the house rules. It's fine. I hope they don't sound too restrictive. Ray used to say that when it came to this house, I'd get worse than a drill sergeant. <laughs> I want the room. You don't even want to think about it? I have thought about it. It's perfect. How about you? Well, if the references check out, sure. You've got a deal. <laughs> Great. Thanks. Oh, do you have a security system? Yes, I do. You know, two women alone. It's very safe here. That's good to know. Thanks for the tour. <laughs> sure. I hope to hear from you soon. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Yes, Lara Lewis gave you as a reference. She says she works for you. Yeah, that's right. She's terrific. What else would you like to know? I'm considering her as a tenant. Would you say she's reliable? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. And how about me? You know, we are fanatics about that around here, and I, I, I can't tell you how well organized this lab has become since she's been on board. So you recommend her? Yes. You're, you're lucky to get her. She's a gem. A real, a real doll. Thank you. That's what I wanted to hear. Thanks. Okay, a gem I like, but a doll? What? It was my first, my first reference. I got, I got nervous. Well, thanks. I couldn't have her call my last landlord. You know me better than anyone here. Well, not not all that well. But we could we could change that. You know, maybe dinner or, or something. Sometime. Maybe sometime. I need you to stay another week. No, you don't. No, you don't. Trust me. Oh, that's what you used to say at school when you were about to con me into some harebrained scheme. I have watched you every day for over a month in this shop. And there's nothing about it you don't know. Except how to run it. Patty, now listen to me. I've got my hands full in San Francisco. I never would have opened a second shop if I didn't think you could run it. I can't thank you enough. You have saved me. Oh, it's not a favor. It's not a favor. It has been such a gas to hang out with you again and, and, and watch you, I don't know, what? Blossom. Blossom? Mm -hmm. You're not going to let me get sentimental, are you? <laughs> no, no, you're just going to be a pain in the ass. All right, goodbye. Bye. Bye. Have a safe trip. Don't worry, this, this won't become a habit. I just I wanted to surprise you. You did all this? Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. oh my. <sighs> you made these yourself? Mm -hmm. My father's a chef. He studied in Paris. I studied with him. I can't remember the last time anyone made dinner for me. I'll have to make a toast. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Let me get my mother's wine glasses. Okay. Oh, I stopped by the stationery store on my way home, and I picked up a new lease. <laughs> we might as well make it official. Oh, my ex always insisted on getting everything in writing. What, is he a lawyer or just suspicious? <laughs> Both. <laughs> He could have been cheating on me for years. I don't know. He denies it. And until the moment I found out, it never even occurred to me. <laughs> too trusting. Me too. It's time to change all that. Here, here's to us. <laughs> here's to being happy. This house always made me happy. I put my heart and soul into making this a place that 
my family would want to come home to. And it worked. Until it... Until it didn't. Enough of that. Clean up time. Patty. Your home is perfect. I'm glad to share even a little piece of it. You relax, okay? This is my mess. I'll take care of it. <laughs> no. I want to. Actually, I like to. Nobody likes to. <laughs> Come on. You made the dinner. I will clean it. Yeah. I made the mess. I'll clean it. No, no, really. Let me no, 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 that, no, no, please. No. <gasps> oh, no. I'm so sorry. It's, it's all my fault. I'm really sorry. It's okay. It was an accident. But it was your mother's. Yeah, I know. Maybe it was meant to be. Maybe it's time. For, for what? To let go of the past. So you don't think I went overboard on the roses? No, I love it. Whatever part of the cycle they're in, they're so beautiful. And you're happy with the way it looks? Are you kidding? You have brought this place to life. Thank you. You're welcome. Close all the windows, lock both doors, don't let the cat out, and set the alarm before you leave. Looks to me like bells have already gone off. What? You've got a boyfriend. <laughs> I am dating the gardener. How Lady Chatterley of you. <laughs> Actually, he's a landscape architect, but either way, I don't know what I'm doing. I. This is all new to me. I haven't dated a man since college, for God's sake. Well, they really haven't changed. I just hope it's like swimming or riding a bike. I hope it does all come back to you. It will. Just make sure this one treats you right. Bye-bye. Bye. Keys.
my old landlord. I, I, I think he's following me. I'll get campus security. No, don't. They can, they can what? They can what? Escort him off campus? Then what? You gotta help me. Will you help me? Please? Yeah, yeah, a girl named Laura Lewis works in a lab here. Not anymore. She, uh, she quit about a week ago. You know where I can find her? No. She dropped out of school, just disappeared. I think I heard she was in Chicago. Chicago, huh? Thanks. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Sure. Nice flowers. They're from your gardener? Nope. They're from me to you to thank you for the dinner. They're beautiful. Thank you. By the way, you left the living room window wide open. Oops. And you didn't set the alarm. Sorry. Someone could have broken in. Believe me, I, I know, and I'm, I'm sorry. You have to be... I said I was sorry! Trust me, I am, okay? God, what is... I'm sorry, okay? It, it's not you. It's me. There's something I didn't tell you. The, the reason I had to move is I was being harassed by my old landlord. He, um... He broke into the bathroom when I was in the bathtub, and... You poor kid. I am so sorry. It's okay, sweetie. I don't have my prescription number. No, uh... Can't you just check my name in the computer? Lara Lewis? L-E-W-I-S. Thank you, I'll hold. While you're at it, you should order some methamphetamines. What? Well, because tomorrow we start the graveyard shift. So, you think you can still deal with that? I'm kidding, it'll be great. I have my house to myself all day. And we'll have the labs to ourselves all night. What? No, no, I can't do that. No, my, my doctor is away and I need this filled as soon as... Look, just save it, okay? It doesn't help. So listen, I was thinking, you know, maybe you and I... Alan, are you coming on to me or what? Guess who? Uh, Patty! You're home early. Why aren't you at the shop? Why aren't you at the lab? I have new hours. Come here. I want to show you the new rosebuds. Hang on a sec. How 
How do you just help yourself to something that isn't yours? What? That wine was a present from my daughter. <laughs> Why? I, I'm sorry. I, I thought you were talking about Steve. <laughs> I gotta run. I'll call you later, Patty, okay? I, I'm, I'm really sorry. I, I must have gotten this bottle mixed up with one of mine. For someone who's recently been attacked, you certainly recover quickly. Well, recovering is one of my better qualities. Yes, I can see that. Just don't do it with my friends. Patty, how well do you know Steve? Excuse me. This wine has a bit of an aftertaste. talk. I'm busy right now. It's important. Just give me a minute. Patty! It's to replace the one I opened by mistake. I'm sorry, I got them confused. I... Thank you. We have a problem. It's, it's not my fault. Steve came on to That's me. That's not the issue. You're naive if, if you think that I'm the one... The utility bills have gone through the roof. I don't have any choice but to raise your rent. You can't. Yes, I can. Not under the terms of the lease. We had an agreement. The thermostat was supposed to be left off. But the lease you had me sign includes all utilities. I can't afford this. <laughs> I can't afford a rent hike. Then I guess you're going to have to find someplace else to live. No. I have until June and an option for another 12 months according to the lease. I know what the goddamn lease signed. says. Do you? Or are you pissed off at yourself for not reading it carefully enough? Did you read this lease agreement? Yeah, of course. Well, then you should know you've given her exclusive right to occupy the house. The whole house. You didn't specify that she's only renting a room. That was our verbal agreement. Which is superseded by your written contract. She's within her rights. The law favors the tenant. So what do I do? You could lock her out, but I wouldn't recommend that. What would you recommend? Learn to live with it. This is your expert opinion, The Claire? only other choice is to buy her out. Pay for her to move? In the long haul, that would be the cheapest, quickest way. <sighs> Eviction takes months. I feel so stupid. How did I get into this mess? You're distracted. You're going through a divorce. <laughs> Speaking of which, I got a call from Ray's lawyer. Ray would like the painting. What painting? I don't know. Something in the front hall or cottage. I don't know. No way. I, I love that painting. He said that you hated it. Jill hates that painting. That goes to show how well he knows I'll me. You can tell him to... Okay. Back to the tenant situation. Try a friendlier approach now. Lara? Lara?
hate to do this to you, little guy. I'll miss you. Mm. Sorry, Romeo, it's your turn. Yep, your turn. Come on. Reprieved. Laura? Oh, hi. Did, did I wake you? No. Can I talk to you? Sure. I know this situation isn't working for you. And I'm to blame. I never realized how private a person that I am. And I think you need more space. I should never have rented out the room. I'm prepared to pay your moving expenses and a little extra that's negotiable. And if you want, I'll help you find a place. So you're asking me to move out? Yes. And I'm offering to pay you. <sighs> I, I, I can't really handle this right now. Can I talk to you in the morning, please? OK. Yes. Good night. Night. Don't worry, Romeo. We'll be all right. She turns it all around. I suddenly find myself feeling bad for her. I was all set to get rid of her. She has this way of looking so victimized. And now I don't know what to do. <sighs> was I always this indecisive? No, you were always very sure of yourself and then you'd make the wrong decision. I don't know why I even bothered talking to you. Because I'm the only one that'll listen. Seriously. Give her another chance, but if she takes advantage of you again. You come first. That's why you finally got rid of Ray, remember? Yeah. It's just sometimes easier to forget. Are you on the car phone? Yes. I thought we opened the shop at 9.30. Yes, we do. I, I forgot my key. How could you forget that? You know... Oops! Oh, I'm losing you! Liar.
you doing in my room? I wasn't in your room. Don't you lie to you, me. You I lied to me. You out. said you'd be out until eight. You get out of my room. No. I'm sick of you ordering me around. Don't go here. Don't do this. Don't do that. You know, I know my rights. I'll drag you in court. You drag me into court. You went into my room and you took my radio. Radio. Get out of my room. You said you'd never be here during the day that I'd have this place all to myself, that it would be my place. And now you think you can pay me to go away? I want you out of my house. Lady, you don't have the money or the guts to get me out of your house. How could I be so stupid as to let her in my house? How do you know that Lara did this? Oh, what, there's some American beauty serial killer out there? The woman was in my bedroom. Okay, but that doesn't necessarily mean that Why she did this. Why are you defending her? I'm not. You and my daughter. I tell her Lara was in my room. She says, big deal. All I'm saying Forget is... Forget it, Steve. Is here. Tell him I'll be right in. Her. Hmm? Hello. I'm Ray Young. Hi. Laura Lewis. I I'm a friend of your daughter's. She suggested I see you. Oh, great. Well, now she'll want a commission. <laughs> Come on in. Sit down. Thanks. What can I do for you? Well, I'm having problems with my landlady. And Jill said that if anyone could help, it's you. Here's the lease. There are plumbing problems. She's turned off the heat. I can only use the washer and dryer on certain days. And now she says either I leave or she's raising the rent. I've only been there a month and a half. Why do you want to stay? Well, I, I can't afford to move right now. So where does Mrs. Brown live? She has a place in Palm Springs, but she gets mail at the house all the time. She's always dropping in on me unexpectedly. Well, we could file suit if you can afford the legal fees. No, um, I'm a student. This might be asking a lot, and if I'm out of line, just tell me, but... Maybe you could write me a letter? Well, that's not a bad idea. Has she ever threatened you? Not yet, but it could happen. She's not the most stable person I know. Well, if she ever does, we'll slap a restraining order on her, keep her away from the house. We can do that? You bet your pretty little head we can. <laughs> Jill is right. You are wonderful. <laughs> and if she won't fix the plumbing or turn on the heat, we'll report her to the health department. Meanwhile, I'm going to write her a lawyer letter that will knock her on her ass. I don't know how to thank you. Oh, it's been my pleasure. You just, um, you tell my secretary the address and I'll have the letter for you this afternoon, all right? And tell my daughter to call me for something besides money, would you? <laughs> okay. Okay? Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, Monday, $1,750 to Laura Lewis. I never wrote this check. This, is, this, this woman is my tenant. She's, she's forged my name. The fraud unit will have to investigate. What about my money? That depends on what they find out. Until then, I can't do anything. Is there anyone else I could speak to? A, a manager or somebody? Of 
course, but they're going to tell you the same thing. As what? You haven't said anything. You're just going to have to be patient. These things take time. I went to the bank today. So you, you gave that to me. You forged my signature. Are you nuts? You sat right there at the table and wrote it out. I watched you. Don't you remember? I did not write that check. <laughs> you're, you're accusing me of forgery. You know, I'm getting really tired of your crap. This is from my lawyer. This is from my ex-husband. Did he send you here? Is he behind this? Ray happens to be my attorney. I'm a very good friend. I can see why you married him. You get out of here. You get out of my sight. You get out! Shouldn't be doing that in my house, Romeo. What are we gonna do with her, huh? Officers. Anybody in there? Hello? Hello? Let's get out of here. 911 emergency. Hello? Hello, 911, may I help you? Uh, sorry, th there's been a mistake. Very well, ma'am. Thank you for coming. I, I thought she was going to kill me. Well, if she's drunk like you said, she's probably passed out, but she threatens you again. You give us a call. Thank you. I will. Mrs. Young, you can't go in there. And you read it. Hang up. What? I said, hang up! I'll have to call you back. Have you completely flipped you out? Bastard! What, are you sleeping with her, too? I don't know who you mean. No, you wouldn't, would you? Between your implanted bimbet, whoever else you meet at the club, at the bar, I don't know, in the streets, it must be hard to keep track. What in the hell are you talking about? Ms. Lewis? Lara? She's Jill's friend. What? Who told you that? Lara! She's my tenant. Your tenant? I had no idea You've this was... You've been lying for so long, you actually believe what you say. She conned me. She told me her landlady was Judith something in Palm Springs. That's who I addressed this letter to. Check my files. Shoot. Did you interview this girl? I mean, are you just letting anybody move into our house now? I, I read the lease. It's serious. You could be in some trouble. I hope you're more cautious with the contracts for the new business. 
You have to read them thoroughly. And if you don't understand them... Ray, don't condescend to me. No, I'm concerned. I did give you the startup capital. You owe me that money. For don't all start with your hysterics. I am not hysterical. Oh, no? Well, you scared the life out of our daughter last night. She was going to drive two hours in the middle of the night to rescue you, and then you call up and you say, oh, oh, it's a false alarm. Where is your head, Patty? Hey, Mom, just forget it. I can't. He accused me of being a hysteric. Well, you did drive over 100 miles to have this conversation. Jeff. I mean, what's up, Mom? Is this some kind of change of life thing? Do you think that I'm overreacting about Laura? I gotta go to class. Jill, tell me the truth. That is... You cannot bail out on this trip. You have got to learn this aspect of the business. And you got to get out of town. Get some perspective on this whole Lara situation. Which my daughter thinks I'm exaggerating. Yeah, well, she's a kid. What does she know? Anyway, this is not about your daughter. It's not about Jill. It's not about Lara. It's about you. And you need to be on this trip, personally and professionally. And you have got to get out of that house. Stop lecturing me. Or I'll miss my plane. You like this bed? Hmm? Okay, Romeo, it's no night. from me. Romeo! Oscar, get out of here! I'll oh, clean your cage, little guy. Come back.
Dr. Margolis, please? Yeah, Laura Lewis. Hi, um, I, I need a refill on my prescription, but the pharmacy claims it's run out. No, I, I don't have time for that. No, you don't understand. I need, I need this now. I shouldn't have to have a consultation with him just to... Health department. I don't, I don't know. The emergency number. The emergency number for the health department. Yes. My shower is broken. If you don't mind, I'm taking a bath. California and Maine. May I help you? Yeah, it's Frank, the plumber. You said there'd be someone home to let me in. There is. Did you ring the bell? Ten times, at least. Look, ma'am, I got three more jobs to do today. Wait for me there, Frank. I'll let you in myself. I'm so sorry. What do you think? The hat. Uh, it's great. Look, I have an emergency and I have to leave. Do you want the dress? Yes. Would you mind wearing it out? You mean now? I'll... Take 10% off. I'll, I'll throw in the hat. You can pay me tomorrow. Do we have a deal? Okay, I'll, I'll just get my things. Thank you.
out of my house. I want her evicted. I told you. You're looking at six to eight I weeks don't care. minimum. And it I may can't provoke sleep. further I retaliation. Can't my business is suffering. I'm afraid to walk into my own home. <sighs> I have finally begun to take control over my own life. I am not going to lose it. Nor should you. I'm just suggesting it might be more prudent. No. File the fucking notice. She's your friend, but there are things about Laura you don't know. I know you two don't get along. Listen, I can't get involved here, okay? You're the one who gave her the favorable reference, so you are involved. So answer me. Can your bacteria kill a cat? Why are you asking me this? My cat died of a bacterial infection. I know Laura handles toxic bacteria. Listen, you are way out of line. Laura loves animals. She wouldn't hurt your cat. Laura has problems. I need to get in touch with her family. Well, I don't know them. Did she ever mention a father? I think he was a chef. Listen, I am working the tail end of a double shift here. Do you mind? Yes, I do. I need information. Bacteria, do not leave My this cat time. is dead! Laura was the only what, one there! What? God damn it! She is a mentally unstable woman! The only mentally unstable woman I see here is you. Excuse me. I don't believe it. This is totally berserk. Me or Lara? I had no idea. Mom, I'm sorry I doubted you. I've been a real pain. Forgive me. Come on and help me. I'm gonna hole up in my bedroom. You shouldn't have to do this, Mom. She's destroying this place. I've taken pictures. It's all evidence against her. I just have to wait it out. Aren't you scared? A little. But I won't let her alone in our house. Oh, forget the house. Why don't you stay with me? I mean, at least until the eviction's over. You, me, and Peter? That'd be cozy. <laughs> no. This house is important to me. You were born here, Chili. There are... memories here. I will not let this woman destroy me. father was a chef. I don't really like to talk about him. Okay. How about your mother? Was she, uh, did she work or was she a homemaker? We didn't really have a home. Well, you were homeless? Leave it alone, Alan, okay? I'm sorry. I just, I just want to get to know you better. 
Why? Laura, I'm not I'm not gonna hurt you. Stop it, okay? What I'm just joking. Stop. What the heck was that? She's a freak. She does that every night. You know, she, uh, <laughs> she thinks she killed her cat. She killed it. Listen, if she's a psycho, and she's, she could... Forget about her. Patty Young? <gasps> Are you Patty Young? Yes. I've been away. I just got your note. You were Laura's landlord? Yep. Has she taken over your house yet? Yes. How did you... Well, she was renting my guest house. She offered to water my house plants when I went out of town, so I gave her a set of keys. After that, it was like she owned the damn place. How did you get rid of her? <laughs> I threw her out. Caught her taking a bath in my tub. She did exactly the same thing to me. I found these after she left. Now, my brother-in-law is a shrink, and he said they use this to control certain types of uh, psychotic behavior, delusions, paranoia. His guess, she stopped taking them. Okay. Oh, no. Officer, this is my house. What's going on? You know this guy? No, I... You've never seen him before? I have no idea who he is. Leave him alone. That's my boyfriend. Let go of him. Is that Peter? Yes. We were going to surprise you and take you to dinner. Only I had class. That creep tried to attack me. That is not true. You what? must have sent him to intimidate wait, me. Wait, wait, stop. This woman have to kill me before it becomes a psycho Get out of the corner. Ridiculous. Easy. He okay. never touched her. Officer, please just tell me what happened. This lady called us, said she was being attacked. She's totally out of control. She's 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 crazy. You know, I, I go to bed at night wondering if she's gonna kill me in my sleep. You can't just arrest him. Can't you just arrest her? Unfortunately, no. She's 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 mentally ill. You, you well, can't arrest her. She she unless she hurts me. You can file a formal complaint. Would you like to do that? There is. There's one thing that you can do. Miss Lewis, I can't discuss any aspects of your case until the eviction hearing. I understand, Your Honor, but I'm actually afraid I might not make it that far. Last night was the second time I've had to call the police. The situation is escalating. I was hoping to get a temporary restraining order against her. Miss Lewis, we don't just hand those things out. It's a very serious procedure. And this is a very serious situation, Your Honor. I, I shouldn't have to live in fear for my life. Or should I? No. All right, I'll grant you a TRO, but only until Monday, at which time I want to see both parties. In the meantime, Miss Lewis, try not to exacerbate the situation. All right. Of course not, Your Honor. Good evening, Mrs. Young. We received a call that you're trespassing. Trespassing? What do you? Were you served with a TRO? I don't. I don't know what that is. She's lying. Again. I'm afraid this is a legal document. This is, this is, <laughs> this is ludicrous. You can't just take somebody out of their house. Officer, are you going to enforce this? I'll give you a few minutes to collect some clothing and some personal stuff. 
then I'm going to have to have you leave the premises. Leave? What is wrong with you people? This is my home! years. She merely rented Miss Lewis her room. Counselor, the lease is not specific about that. With all due respect, Your Honor, it's no reason to bar her from her own home. This is nothing more than a retaliation for an eviction notice. Miss Lewis? Your Honor, this woman has made my life miserable with constant threats and harassment. She's dangerous. With a history of this kind of behavior, she was arrested for breaking into her ex-husband's apartment. Your Honor, no formal charges were ever made. This is a citation from the health department after she turned off the heat and wouldn't repair the plumbing. No, that's not the no, way. It... Just a minute, counsel, please. Here's a letter my lawyer sent her. Obviously, she ignored it. Why isn't your lawyer here now? One hour of his time was all I could afford, Your Honor. That is from my ex-husband. She tricked him. All you have to do is pick up the phone and call him. Ms. Young, the court does not make phone calls. Patty, do not help. Your Honor, Miss Lewis gave false information to the attorney in question. We can get an affidavit from him. We also have one from her former landlord that states she behaved in a similar fashion. My previous landlord tried to rape me, Your Honor. Oh, Come on! Your Honor. All right. That's enough. Sit down, please. Since the eviction action is pending, I'll not get into the larger issues involved here. Ms. Young, I'll modify the order to allow you to return home. But you will have to live with certain restrictions. No, Your Honor, now, I... take it easy, Mr. Simpson. Miss Lewis, you are not to be upstairs at any time, nor in any of the shared areas of the house after 7 o'clock in the morning. Miss Young, you are not to be downstairs at any time except to enter or leave the premises between the hours of 9 a.m. and 7 p.m. Anything anybody doesn't understand? With all due respect, Your Honor, it is her house. And my courtroom. Now pay attention, ladies. If either of you violates this order in any way, for any reason, at any time, I will immediately order you off the property. Is that clear? Hang on until the eviction hearing? Oh, yeah. I hope it goes better than this one. It's not your time. I'm just taking out the trash. See what happens when you leave food around? Romeo!
violated the judge's orders. This doesn't help us. Your word against hers. She had actually stabbed me. Would that have helped? I know what you're going through. No, you don't. All I'm saying is we need proof. But Patty. Look, I have a hearing in two minutes, okay? Call me later. Yeah, sure. If I'm still alive. I'm calling from California. I'm a friend of your daughter's. You must have the wrong Lewis. I don't have a daughter. You're not related to Laura Lewis? Laura? She's in California? She's okay, isn't she? No, not, not really. What's wrong? And why is she using my name? Your name? I'm, I'm sorry, I don't... Her real name is Laura Lipsky. Just how well do you know her? We were, we were, we're friends. We worked together. She used to work for me, too. Beautiful girl, but all kinds of trouble. In, in what way? Had some mental problems. My wife said Laura tried to run her over in the parking lot, but I never believed that. So, what's wrong with Laura now? Hello? Hello? see her attack you. Will you look at my face? I believe you, but in order for me to arrest her, I need she proof that she went out. She broke the restraining order. She, she, she was upstairs. I taped it. Can we see it? Yes, she's got it. She's in my room, officer. You're my witness. Take her away. It's over, Laura. Take her outside. Get her out of here. Put her in the car. I need a minute here. Let me get another unit down here. Take you to the emergency room. The guy needs attention. Actually, it's my foot that's killing me. But I'm all right on my own. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm positive.
Oh, you really look lovely in it. Oh, it's beautiful. You know, I'm gonna bring my bridesmaids in. Great. This is a sweet veil. We can do your whole wedding party. Oh, that would be so cool. Hi. Hey. You know, I think I want to try the other dress on. Sure, I've got it laid out in the dressing room. Okay. I'm so sorry. Why didn't you call? It happened very fast. Oh, you look like hell. Uh, thank you. You know what I mean. Are, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. She's in jail, right? Mm-hmm. Listen, Mom, I wasn't there for you for the divorce, and now this is Laura nightmare. I'm really sorry. It's okay. Ray. Hi. Wow. This place looks great. Thank you. The hell of a job. People actually... Where this stuff? You know, it must be exhausting. What? Acting like a schmuck all the time. No, not really. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah. Good. I'll take it. I was doing okay until I ran out of medication. I was I was going to refill it, but it makes me um fuzzy around the edges and uh, I'm a scientist. I need to focus. Listen, if you were supposed to be taking it regularly. I have I've gone off it before and I'm I'm fine for a while and then I get um anxious and I need, uh, <laughs> comfort. Like, like what you get from a home. <laughs> and all I, all I want is a home, not these, these pills. But no matter how hard I try to make a place my own and make myself feel better, I get, I get even more confused and I, I don't even know what's real. <laughs> Why did you take bacteria from the lab? I wanted to die. You what? You were going to kill yourself. Why? I had decided to go back on my medication, but they wouldn't refill my prescription unless I went back to the shrink. So why didn't you just go back? Because he brings it all back what? up. <laughs> the, the, the past. I, I can't, I can't think about what it was like anymore. I just, I can't. Why didn't you come to me? Why didn't you tell me the truth? I, I was afraid you'd hate me. Laura, I could never hate you. If I stay in here, I will die, I swear. If I bail you out, will you, will you let me take care of you?
What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? So you can think with this. And you're no genius. She got away from me. She's she's probably headed to your house. And I called the police, but you better get out of there. I'm sorry. something Thank you. 
I'm going home. Catch a break. Thank you. 